Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to take screenshots in Selenium using the output type as base64. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I have either used output type as file or output type as byte for taking the screenshots in Selenium. Now I am going to cover what if this output type is specified as B64 and then how you can take the screenshots in Selenium. Practically, I'm going to demonstrate this in this session. So this is the code block guys that I'm going to use while I'm demonstrating the session, okay? So here, as you can see, there is a project, Maven project, okay? Which comes by default with the Java library, as you already know. So I already uh, configured this uh, Selenium demo project, uh, one of the sample project with uh, Web driver manager and Selenium libraries. As you can see here under the Maven dependencies, you can say uh, have this web driver manager and Selenium libraries already configured with this project. So I can write the Selenium code here, web driver manager and Selenium code here. First, I'll write web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. Then I'll say web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay. Web driver driver is called new Chrome driver. Fine. Then say driver dot manage dot window dot Maximize. I have maximized the browser window, then driver.get. I want to open an application URL. Dot get. So what is the application URL? I'll give this application URL as this tutorialsinger.com slash demo. Copy this URL. Okay. Copy this URL and paste it here like this. Now I need to take a screenshot of this home page. Okay. I want to take the screenshot of this home page. So for taking the screenshot, we need to we need to typecast this driver because this web driver is declaring web driver interface is uh, declaring this driver. So I have to typecast this into take screenshot. Okay, using the takes screenshot interface, we have to typecast this driver again. Surround this uh, thing with uh, circular brackets and say dot get screenshot as method. Okay, inside this provide output type output type type dot here earlier we have either used file or bytes now i'm going to use base 64 okay what it is what if it is base 64 it will return in the form of string guys okay say string base 64 screenshot okay is equal to like this now hover the mode on this take screenshot and Im import this take screenshot from selenium library okay now this part is done, I'll uh, just minimize this so that you can see the entire code properly. Like this, we have to write this. Now, so now I captured the screenshot using base64 system rather than byte or file. Now in that case, how to do that? Now I have to represent file. File, I'll say screenshot destination, destination file path, okay? File path is equal to. Here I'll say new file of, I'll specify the path where I have to store the screenshot or save the screenshot. So I'll say system dot get property. Here I'll mention user dot dir, user dot dir. This will get the path of the project guys. First I'll import this file from java.io package. And uh, here, if I mention system dot get property user dot dir, it will take the project path that is uh, current project is Selenium demo. This project path it will take till there. And I'll append that with another path under that project, under that project, under this project, guys, I'll create a folder known as screenshots folder. I'll create a folder known as screenshots folder. So just make sure you are writing the spelling properly. Screenshots, screen shots. Okay. Just double check. Under that, I want to generate a screenshot file. Okay. This is a destination file path of the screenshot. I'll mention that as tutorials ninja home dot png. Okay, this is the name of the screenshot file I want to generate and this extension of the screenshot file. So under the screenshots folder, it will be generated. Okay, so we got the destination file path, but now how to, you see, we have captured the screenshot in the base 64 format, but we have to write that into the png format under the screenshots folder. We have to move that uh, screenshot and convert that base 64 screenshot into the normal PNG format. For that, we have to use something known as file output stream. 
okay file output stream fos is equal to new file output stream where you want to output where you want to write this screenshot to okay which path this path right this is a path where you have to Move, move the screenshot. You see, under this project, under the screenshots folder, under uh, with the, this name and extension, we want to copy the screenshot under here. So, import this file output stream from Java, guys. File output stream, file output stream over the moon, import. Then, this constructor cannot be empty. We have to provide the path where you want to move the screenshot. Okay, here. And now, this FOS. Object reference of this file output stream has a method. We can call it method using this uh, FOS object reference, that is write method. And here you see, you can accept byte. But is, here we have to provide byte, but here we are capturing the screenshot in base64, but not byte. So how to convert this base64 into the byte format? How to, okay, how to convert this base64 into byte format? For that, I'll copy this base64 screenshot here. Uh, before that, we have to write something like base64 here. It's a predefined class dot, okay, base64 dot. Uh, there's something known as uh, decode of string. You see decode of uh, string is there, right? Let's say decode of string. It is decoding into which format? Byte array format. Now, write method will accept the byte array. So base64, it will not accept. This 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 screenshot is in the form of base64, but we have to convert that base64 into the byte array, which decode method of this base64 is doing, OK? So we are getting this from a different library altogether. And uh, it's uh, converting this base64 into byte array, OK? Byte array. This is what we have to do, guys. Directly, uh, the right method of this file output stream doesn't have a direct mechanism of intaking the base64 format. We have to convert that base64 into the byte array. Then only write method will accept. To convert that into the byte array, okay, we have done that. If you are still confused, I'll just mention here. So if I just give me a second, if I put something like this, it will return you the byte array, guys. Okay, byte array, byte uh, array screenshot. Now base64 screenshot is converted into the byte array screenshot content. So this byte array screenshot, I am providing it here. That's what I am doing is, okay, base64.decode will convert the base64 into the byte array. Now this byte array will be accepted here. Okay, that's what I am saying. So if all these things go well, so then this statement need to be printed. That is a screenshot is taken successfully. Okay, screenshot is taken successfully. And finally, I'll create the browser also. Okay, I don't want to keep the browser open after taking the screenshot. So let's run this code and see whether it is working fine or not. It, it will take a screenshot in base 64 and uh, then before writing, it will convert it to the byte array and then under the screenshot folder, the screenshot will be moved, okay? So it's working fine, screenshot is taken successfully. So refresh this screenshot folder, guys. And you will get the screenshot here. You see, open the screenshot. You see, the screenshot of the homepage has been taken successfully, right? So this is how, guys, we can take screenshots in Selenium by specifying the output type that is this particular output type as base64 by converting that into the byte array and then providing that to the right method of the file output stream. This is possible. So hope guys you understood how to take screenshots in Selenium using output type as by specifying the output type as uh, base64. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.